Welcome back to another installation guide for Escape from Pripyat, a Stalker Anomaly mod pack that is arguably one of the best out there. This installation guide will be for version 2.2. The uh, installation instructions have been simplified quite a bit from the previous version, which is always great. If you found this guide useful, consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions or concerns, leave a comment below. And with that, let's get straight into it. We'll be following the installation guide here. Make sure your Windows 10 is up to date. If you're running Windows 7, go ahead and uh, do this patch here. And uh, I'm unsure if Windows 11 will be working with EFP. So make sure your GPU drivers are up to date. And then we're going to need to install the most recent version of Visual C++. So if you go ahead and head over to this link, you'll see this. You can either click this top link here, or just scroll down a little bit, and you'll see these three downloads here. If you're running a AMD CPU, go ahead and download this one. And these two here are for Intel CPUs. So if you're unsure whether or not you're running an x86 or x64 CPU, I'll go ahead and show you how to figure that out now. You can go ahead and hit down to the lower left and hit start, go to your control panel, or hit Windows and the I key. It's going to bring up this menu here. Go over to Systems, and then you would go down into the bottom left corner down here to, oops, to About. I'm not going to do this because you'll see system info about my computer, but you'll hit about and then at the top you should see system type and it'll say either x32 or x86. Um, excuse me, x32 or x64. For the x64 version you would grab this, x32 you would grab x86 here. And go ahead and follow through the install on that, it's pretty easy, and then it'll ask you to restart. And then last but not least, we're going to go ahead and need 7-zip. This link here will direct you straight to the download. Um, if you don't already have 7-zip installed on your computer. And uh, once again, the install for this is super self-explanatory. So just go ahead and click through that and make sure you guys have 7-zip. All right, moving on to step one. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a, um, a folder called EFP on a drive on our computer and um, this is going to be where we're installing anomaly as well as the mod pack for EFP and we're going to want to call this folder EFP as well as we don't want to put it in our program files or desktop downloads any user specific folder it's best to go in the base directory of a drive so I'll go ahead and do that guy do that with you guys right now so you can see what I am talking about so this is uh, my this PC screen here. We're gonna go ahead and go for my E drive, and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder in the base of the drive called EFP. And there we go. So we have step one done. We move on to step two. We're gonna be installing our vanilla anomaly files. So you're gonna want to have a fresh install of anomaly for this. The download link is here. I'll link it in the description of the video as well. And um, it's about 9 gigs, so it may take a little bit to download. Um, and you guys can just go ahead and pause the video and come on back when that is done. And then we're going to be extracting Anomaly, that download that we just got, into our EFP folder we just made. So I'll show you guys how to do that now. All right, so once you've had that downloaded, it will most likely be in your downloads file here. I've taken the downloads we need and put them in a file called EFP downloads here. So here's our zipped anomaly file. And we're going to go ahead and take this file and either uh, control X or right click and cut. And we're going to take this and put it into our EFP file here. So once you've done that, go ahead and uh, right click seven zip and say extract here. And this is a decent sized file, so it may take a little bit of time to extract. So I'll go ahead and come on back when that is done. 
All right, so we're just about finished extracting here. There we go. So now you have your vanilla anomaly file in here. One thing we're going to want to do is you see this anomaly zip file. Let's go ahead and delete that. All of its content have been put in here. All right, so now you, what we've done so far is we've created an EFP folder in our base directory of one of our drives. We've taken what was inside the anomaly download and extracted it into that file. So we're going to move on to the next step, which is going to be getting the EFP mod pack installed itself. All right. So what we're going to want to do is go to the Escape from Pripyat Discord, which the link will be right here in the install guide. Once you've hit that link to the Discord, you will see the rules page and probably nothing else. Make sure you read through our rules and um, be respectful, be kind to people. Obviously, you know, just have some common sense. Once you've done that, at the bottom here, you'll see this React button here. This React button here, and um, this acknowledges you've read through the rules. Once you've hit that, you'll be able to see the rest of the Discord. From there, you can go to Download Links, and this is where you'll be able to get the download for EFP 2.2. So here it says, download the mod pack from one of these three links. We're going to read through the install guide, what we're doing right now. And then once we've installed the base 2.2 mod pack, we're going to install some hot fixes for that. So once you've downloaded that EFP mod pack from one of those three links, should look something like this. It's great from Pripyat 2.27 zip. And we're going to do basically the same process we just did with the anomaly file and extract this into our EFP folder. So let's cut this off of here. Control X or right click right click cut excuse me i'm going to go to efp folder here we're going to paste it in here and i'm going to right click and seven zip and say extract here and once again a decently sized file so this may take a moment and i'll be back with you once this is done all right guys so that is done extracting and just like we did last time we can go ahead and find escape from Pripyat 2.27 zip here delete that it's a rather large zip file we don't need it in there anymore save you some space so what we've done now is we've extracted the escape from Pripyat mod pack into our base directory of efp so let's go back to the guide and look for our next step here I'll say, uh, also, if you're running uh, Windows Insider mode, go ahead and download this and plop it into your EFP folder as well. So our next step is we're going to set up EFP. We're going to look for a file called install EFP.bat, double click to run it, and follow the prompt on screen. So let's go ahead and do that now. Should be somewhere around here. Here we go. Install EFP. So you're going to see press any key to continue. So you should, uh, you should see finished here and you should see a new shortcut on your desktop called launch EFP and go ahead and press any key to continue. It'll close that back down and we're all good to go there. So our next step is we're going to um, right click this launch EFP icon on our desktop. And we're going to set it to run as administrator and then we're going to create a portable instance for mod organizer which is a program that helps us launch our mods so let's go ahead and do that now before you launch this you need to for the first time select run as administrator or you can go ahead and hit properties down here in this menu on the shortcut tab Click Advanced, click Run as Administrator, OK, Apply, OK, and then when you launch this, hit Yes, and it will run as, as an administrator. So here's our new desktop icon. So you'll see this. Um, error message come up, go ahead and ignore it. It's uh, 
because we haven't created a portable instance yet and it's looking for a portable instance. So we're going to go ahead and say show all supported game types. And then we want to scroll down until we see Stalker Anomaly. And then we're going to select our EFP folder that we made. And there we go. Our launcher has come up here. Let's go ahead and go back to our guide. And we have a few settings that we want to go over in the launcher before we start our game here. So you're going to want to be on DirectX 11 if you, you know, unless you have an Android computer as well as support AVX CPU. Um, I go ahead and unclick debug mode. Um, and then go ahead and keep prefetch sounds on click delete shader cache. And if it's your first time running the game, uh, you can hit reset graphic settings and go ahead and enter your graphic settings here. 1920 by 1080p. I suggest borderless windowed and go ahead and hit delete shader cache and we'll be ready to launch into the game. And there we are. My screen is still slightly zoomed, but we are in the main menu here. So we're going to go ahead and exit out and go ahead and get our hotfixes set up now. All right, now we're going to go back to the Discord and install the hotfixes. And then we should be good to go. So if you look here on the left panel, just below download links, you'll see a channel that says hotfixes. The first post here is EFP 2.2 hotfix one. We're going to download this file. We're going to extract it, copy it into our EFP folder, and it's going to ask us to overwrite some stuff and then we're good to go. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I have EFP hotfix one here. I'm going to have it extract itself into its own folder here. We're going to go ahead and copy this mod folder, go back to our EFP folder and just paste it in here. It's going to ask us if we want to replace some files, go ahead and say replace the files in the destination and you're good to go with that hotfix. And moving on to the second one, just below it, the instructions are make sure we install the previous hotfix, which we did. We're going to download the attached file, unpack the mod folder into our EFP folder. And then we're going to open our mod organizer exe and enable this mod. I'll show you guys how to do that. So go ahead and download this, which it will look like this right here, smaller x-ray BHS. Go ahead and extract it, 7-zip, extract it into its own file. Oh, excuse me. We're going to open this up, copy this mod folder here, go back to EFP, go ahead and paste it in here. Also, either in your downloads folder or wherever you extracted these files, once we're done with that, you can go ahead and delete them. You're not going to need them anymore. So we're going to head back into our EFP drive here, folder rather, and we're looking for mod organizer here. Go ahead and double click run mod organizer. And then we are going to need to go to the bottom of our screen on mod organizer and find a mod called EFP 2.2 smaller x-ray BHS and enable that. So I'll show you guys how to do that now. So on the left side here, go ahead and grab this drag down bar and go all the way to the bottom. Any extra mods added by you will be here and you should see a little bubble next to this. Go ahead and click it. And then we can go ahead and close down mod organizer and be all good to go. What this will do, it'll have a small performance increase and your x-ray health toggle screen will be a little bit smaller. All right, so we're gonna close this, close this, and we can go ahead and launch our EFP. Wonderful. Once again, make sure you guys have DirectX 11 checked, support for AVX CPUs, Prefetch sounds. Each time you launch the game, I suggest selecting delete shader cache. And the first time you launch it, go ahead and sort of reset your graphic settings. Make sure it's at your screen's resolution. 
All right, so let's go ahead and launch in. And here we are. Welcome to Stalker Anomaly, Escape from Pripyat 2.2. I'll have a link to my older install guide which goes over in-game settings a little bit more. A lot of them don't apply because they've been set by the new update themselves, but if you're looking for control keybinds, reshade settings, or how to set a few keybinds that you're going to have to do manually, um, I'll leave a link to that video in the description. Um, I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments or in the Discord for Escape for Pripyat. Have a wonderful day.